In this video, we'll learn more about vaults from Yearn.Finance, how they work, differences between them, risks involved, and how you can enter any vault using any asset directly from Zapradatify. So what is a vault and who are vaults for really? Well, vault uh, at the core is a smart contract which takes a deposit of your underlying asset and issues a corresponding Y asset in return. And what happens to your deposit under the hood is that each vault is automatically rebalancing your deposits of underlying assets to the best available yield generating opportunity for that asset. So for example, when you deposit DAI into the DAI vault, you will receive Y DAI. And under the hood, this vault will deposit to D force to generate lending interest on your DAI. Now, this might change as interest rates throughout the industry uh, shift, of course. Uh, for example, already with a true USD coin, the best available interest on this is on Metastable, which is a different lending platform. And this is the beauty of vaults. They automatically rebalance to the best available yield generating strategy for your deposited asset. So it really depends of what you want to hold more of. Do you want to hold more DAI, USDC, Tether? This is a savings account for these tokens. Now, what if you are bullish on other assets which are not necessarily stable? So something like Wi-Fi or Link. With Link, it's especially interesting because you have a delegated vault, which is a, a brand new vault. So what this vault will do is it will take your A-Link deposits, which by the way are required to enter this pool. And this is where Zapper is able to provide another convenience and abstraction. So your A-Link tokens are deposited into the vault and in return, you are issued Y-A-Link tokens. Now, this, this gives the vault ability to borrow against your depositor collateral. So if you really pay attention, these A-Link tokens act as collateral on Aave's platform. And now this vault is able to generate a loan, which is then used and applied to the best yield generating uh, strategies for that borrowed asset. And now, as you can see, you as someone who deposited Link are never losing your Link exposure. So you never sell your link in order to get another required asset. So you are getting an extra loan from your link collateral, and that loan is then applied to the best vault strategy. So in this case, as it currently stands again, things may change. When you're depositing link tokens into this vault, USDC is being generated as a loan against that collateral, and it is being applied to the USDC vault. And now the USDC vault, if we take a look, is applying the USDC deposits to the DeForce platform. And now any profits, so any additional interest that is earned on top of holding your USDC and paying for this loan, is rebalanced automatically into more link tokens, which then of course are restaked back into the vault. So as you can see here, you as someone coming in with link are coming in with link and coming out with link plus more link, which has been generated from the rebalances of these uh, rewards. So now let's take a look of how it actually works from uh, Zapper.fi. The first thing you'll need to do is visit the Invest tab on Zapper.fi. 
and make sure you are connected with your wallet that you're going to be using for transactions. Under Explorer Opportunities, filter by Vault. And in this case, I will go ahead and add liquidity to the Link Vault. And as I've mentioned before, as you can see, you are able to enter liquidity with ETH, DAI, USDC, or LINK. So you don't need to come in with a LINK as you would on Yearn.Finance. In the transaction settings, you can set your slippage tolerance and the gas settings. I'll go ahead and set this one as at instant and keep my slippage tolerance at 2%. Now, if this is your first time using this, you will first need to approve Zapper to spend your DAI tokens. And immediately you will receive another pop-up notification for the actual transfer. You will see your transaction has been initiated and you can follow it on Etherscan. While this is being processed, we can go ahead and try adding liquidity to other vaults. Since I've already approved this transaction for Zapper to spend DAI, I'm gonna go ahead and reject this one because it probably still didn't register my previous, previous transaction, which has just been completed. As you can see here, I'm already in the YA link vault. Since I've already approved my die in the previous transaction, I just let it process. And now I can just initiate this one. Oh, that was quick, already in this pool as well. That was quick, yeah, already in the Wi-Fi vault as well. So I just entered the top three pools, top three vaults on Urine.Finance in just under two minutes. Keep in mind that current withdrawals are subject to a half percent withdrawal fee and there's a 5% performance fee on subsidized gas. Now this only is applied to delegated vaults. Essentially, every time there is a rebalance with a delegated vault, the yearn protocol is paying for that gas. So the fee is getting charged on top of the rebalance amount in order to subsidize that gas. We can take a look at our ZAP transactions in the transactions list. We can see how many steps uh, we've saved using 
Zapper data file as opposed to adding liquidity directly with, say, uh, A links. So if you were to add 250 die, you would first need to convert them to link, then add that link to Aave to generate A links, and then put those A links into the staking contract from the vault. So yeah, it, it saves a whole lot of steps uh, using a Zap, especially if you are coming in with an asset that's not currently accepted as one of the deposits, but you would like to have exposure to that asset. So keep in mind every time you are entering a specific vault from another asset, that asset will always get converted to the required asset for the vault entry. So in this case, my die was converted to a link before depositing into the vault on Yearn. Hopefully this was a clear demonstration of how in general vaults work. Please reach out to us on Discord if you have any additional questions, if you have issues using one of the vaults. Please keep in mind that you are always subject to smart contract risk and economic risk of liquidations. Always do your own research and never trust anyone with your private keys.